welcome to Believe. I am Vanessa. It's a wonderful day here in South Beach, Miami. Um, you can find us believe.love as well as youtube.com slash believe loves you for our Apple users. Apple, I'm sorry, uh, believe iTunes.com as well as our Android users believe Android.com. And we at Believe here, we love to um, send you guys stories, give you guys uh, stories on world news, our universe, money and business, true success, and um, as well as health and wellness. And so you can always stop by here for more interesting stories um, revolving those topics. And we are forever growing here. You're going to see some new faces coming up soon as well. Um, and we're super excited about it. So let's jump right in here. We're going to start with a health and wellness piece. And we're going to be discussing today if fasting, if a fasting diet, could actually reverse diabetes and uh, repair your pancreas. Is this possible? According to a new study published in the journal Cell, a new fasting diet might be able to reboot the body. The diet triggers the pancreas to regenerate itself, which works to control blood sugar levels and reverse symptoms of diabetes. It's pretty cool. Uh, this study, scientists actually put mice into an artificial fasting mode for four days a week over a period of several months to regenerate beta cells in the pancreas, which stores and releases insulin. Um, and they saw that working cells took place over the damaged ones. And the team even experimented on pancreatic cell cultures from human donors affected by type 1 diabetes and found that the diet generated additional insulin, as well as NGN3, which is a protein that's needed to ensure that the pancreas functions correctly. Um, a statement here taken from Walter Longo, who was the head of the research team at the University of Southern California. He says, he says, our conclusion is that by pushing the mice into an extreme state and then bringing them back again, um, by starving them and then feeding them again, then this process goes on, the cells in the pancreas are triggered to use some kind of developmental reprogramming that rebuilds the part of the organ that's no longer functioning. That is amazing. So fasting mimicking diet, that's what this is, um, this is what they're referring to this as, the fasting mimicking diet. It involves consuming a very limited amount of high fat calories for five days and then returning to a normal diet. And it's a way to reduce stress and protect from toxic, toxicity, toxicity, I'm sorry, <laughs> protect from toxicity in people. Um, Undergoing chemotherapy, this is actually why uh, Longo originally developed this fasting mimicking uh, diet, was for people um, going through chemotherapy and to help them, you know, remove the toxicity and to reduce stress for those patients. So fasting mimicking diet, it's actually well respected um, among many scientists, which is good to know, right? It's shown positive results from, for people trying to lose weight. Previous studies have linked it to decrease in diseases such as cancer and heart disease. That's amazing. And it's been found to reduce symptoms of multiple sclerosis. So Longo says that these, like medically, these findings have the potential to be very important, um, at least in the mouse models, that, um, that you can use a diet to reverse the symptom of diabetes, right? That's really cool medically, the information that they find with this study. Scientifically, though, the findings are perhaps even more important because we're proving that a diet, just a diet, can reprogram cells without having to make any genetic alterations. I feel like we're in the time of cloning and genetic modifications, GMOs, and all of these crazy things, which is kind of cool, of course, when you consider it. We, we have so much information that we're able to now manipulate nature and work with it in, in, a, in a different way. But honestly, is that what we should be doing? Is that the best way to look at things? Should we be really focusing on the natural things that we could do, like just changing the way that we consume food? Could honestly reboot our system. It could, it could help our bodies in a way that a drug, something that you know never was probably intended to be put into our bodies, could help us. So I think that's even, even cooler. The amazing thing is that this system has probably always been there. Another point. Um, now that we've discovered it, we can find ways to work it, work with it, and utilize it for benefits to human health. 
I completely agree, um, Walter Longo. That is awesome. And honestly, yes, these things have always been here. Everything that we're learning right now, it's just that. We're learning it. It's always been the truth. There's always been something to help us you know, regenerate and re, and that's honestly what our skin does. Our skin regenerates regardless every 28 to 30 days, right? So we know about these things. We understand science enough to understand that these things are totally possible. But having been tested only on mice and human cells in the lab conditions, there's still a ways to go to prove its efficiency in the real world. So they're still proving that this can actually be beneficial to us on a grand scale, right? But so far the testing is proving positive. That's what we wanna tell you guys today. So because the diet relies on um, specifically measured levels of calories and types of food um, to work on, the medical evidence is still required. There's still, we still need to figure out some things. But the hope is that in the future, the diet will become proven, it's, it'll become a proven tool for treating, di treating diabetes as well as pancreatic functions without medication. I love that, without medication. That is great. So honestly, I would encourage all of you guys to look more into this fasting mimicking diet. I wanna look into it, of course. If it can help us repair little things in our bodies with very little effort on our part, Super, super, super cool. And I would continue to look out for the rest of this research because yes, we're still kind of in the middle of things. We're still between it like, yes, it's looking good for mice in our studies and nothing is coming back super negative. And, and it even worked for those human donors as well. There were organ donors that they worked with, but there are still a, a lot of conditions that have been applied for these tests. So we want this to expand. We want this to grow and grow and grow and get to a point that it can literally work for anyone, you and me. So that's awesome. Continue to research into that, health and wellness. Um, pancreatic pancreatic uses and you're and you're helping out your um, the diabetes and reversing diabetes. Super cool.